and just thinking about driving the ball up the middle. And, uh, and, she, and she said something to me, am I doing this again? And I said, yes, we've been doing this since day one of practice. Can we just try to make the adjustment? And um, she did at the right time and, and uh, the biggest hit of her life um, to this point. And it came, at a, it came at an important time for us. And Alec Pigastav will get around those bases as fast as she could. And it's, uh, I mean, an outstanding season capped off by an outstanding game against a, a great team in Agalon. I want to talk to you just, I mean, having you guys had runners on base throughout the game, um, but they have the bottom of the order come through the way they did and reduce that run. It, it, it's, hap it's happened in the past uh, where, the, where the bottom of the, uh, the order has come through for us, and uh, it's a good thing. It, 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 when you get, you get an RBI like that, it's great. Uh, but again, in the past, like I said, it, it always allows you to turn over and get over the top of your lineup uh, where they can do some damage as well. But tonight, the bottom of the lineup getting it done with Joe Powers, knocking Ali Pigastavo um, in the bottom of the sixth. Uh, uh, just a great way to end it. A great way to end it. Looked a little shaky at first, but uh, obviously Shannon overcame. I mean, she was really on, on point after first. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I mean, she just really wanted it that bad like, at that point. And then, you know, just talk about how fitting it was for her to end the game with the strikeout. Yeah, I mean, it's been an outstanding career. I mean, it, just to, to watch her work uh, day in and day out and, and for these four years, um, she wanted to cap it off uh, with a win today. Uh, just cements her legacy uh, in Milford High Athletics and in, the, in the game of softball in this state, obviously being the all-time strikeout leader uh, now uh, after her career is done. Uh, it's just been an, she's been an outstanding student athlete to coach. Uh, it's been an absolute honor to watch her play, and, and uh, I'm looking forward to what she's going to do at the next level of Kentucky. Let's talk about the senior class in general, not just Shannon, three yeah. state, state final appearances yeah. in their four years and just what they've meant to the program. A special, the a very special class. I mean, you, you have five seniors that have, that have contributed in some way, shape, or form since their freshman year. I mean, you, you don't see that too often where, where a program has five five seniors that have been a part of it for four years and really been a part of it for four years. And it, and it's, uh, it means a lot to, to leave here today. Um, I told them they had a chance to leave a lasting impression, and uh, they did that today. Uh, they, they had a mission at the beginning of the season, uh, mission accomplished today. Uh, but the one thing I did say to them too is the 2013 uh, state champs will always be bonded together. We're gonna be bonded with this championship, and we're always gonna be a group together. We end every uh, practicing game by saying together, and, and from this point on, we're going to be known as 2013 state champs, and it, it sounds really good, and, and uh, we're honored to be able to say that.